Well, it's been a busy week for Purdue's Board of Trustees. The board worked on filling the university's top job and approved renovations to the Student Fitness and Wellness Center. News Channel 18's Brittany Tyner joins us now with the latest out of Purdue. Brittany. Today was the first meeting for the board in 2012, and along with the new year comes big developments for the university. The Purdue Research Foundation says its annual spending for research has doubled to $6 million since 2007, saying this is an effort to increase economic development for the state of Indiana and increase revenue for Purdue. Purdue's Information Technology Department is trying to increase its revenue for the university. IT Vice President Jerry McCartney announced to the board new plans to add Navistar, a truck design company, to produce cluster or computer system. We just this week were able to sign a deal with them and uh, we'll start by uh, providing them with high performance computing services uh, to support their Lyle office uh, in Illinois. The board approved landscaping renovations for the Corec, including a new 400 space parking lot where the current baseball field is located. The board gave the nod to spend $500,000 to renovate the interior of the Student Fitness and Wellness Center. That sum is part of the $98 million budgeted for Corec improvements. Chairman of the board Keith Crock says all renovations will be well worth the cost in the long run for Purdue and its students. You know, it's mind, body and spirit when it comes to education, but it's also going to be a great recruiting tool uh, when we go after the best students we can possibly find here at Purdue. Now, Kroc told me he believes Purdue students do deserve a world-class co-rec. Now, I also got the chance to speak with Kroc about Purdue's ongoing presidential, presidential search. The trustees met earlier this week and interviewed prospective candidates for the president's position. That meeting was closed to the public, but Kroc says a 13-member search committee is working hard to find the best person for the job. Well, that search committee, first of all, is going out and talking to a diagonal slice of the community, the alumni, the faculty, students, you know, world leaders. Croc did not give me any names or any other information about the potential candidates. News Channel 18 will continue to follow the presidential shirt search and keep you updated with any developing information. Brittany Tyner, News Channel 18.